Have you ever wanted to possess the power of invisibility? Well, today, Brian Cranston and I are gonna show you how to turn an object invisible. Today is about refraction. Welcome to Impossible Science. Hey guys, it's Jason Latimer, the world champion of magic. Now, today's topic is invisibility, and I came up with a great experiment for you. And to help me out, I've got TV's favorite dad, TV's favorite scientist, he's an actor, director, producer, and all around just amazing guy. The one and only, Brian Cranston. <laughs> I love these things. Check this out. Hey Brian, thank you so much for joining me on Impossible Science. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, now I have to ask because I got into science because I love magic. Did you experience a, a science experiment that really you remember to this day? Well, I shouldn't really talk too much about it, but uh, it was it was involving DEA agents. Let's just okay. I do less of that. I do less of that in my magic and science. <laughs> But right now we're gonna learn about refraction by turning something invisible. We're gonna use a pen and a water bottle. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this pen and we're gonna put it into that bottle like this. Wait, let me, let me put on my safety goggles. Okay. If I need safety goggles for this, then I've done it horribly, horribly wrong. <laughs> we're gonna take this pen and this bottle and we're gonna go one, two, three. Wow. Turn the bottle around. Let me see that. Yeah, it's inside there. All right. Look at that. Any questions? Uh, yeah, a few. <laughs> <laughs> like, how the heck did you do that? Uh, should I just do it too, so that everybody sees? Yeah, give it a shot. Give it a shot. Deal. Okay, ready? <laughs> and it's gone. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't see any way possible for me to do the same thing that you did. But you can, and you will. Okay, you're probably wondering how does that work? Well, first, let's go over why we actually see objects. We see objects because light is bouncing off of everything and it's coming back to our eye. And if we wanna prevent somebody from actually seeing something, all we have to do is prevent that light from reaching our eye. That means we can either stop it or bend it away. And in this case, we're gonna bend it using refraction. Refraction is a term we use to describe the bending of light as it passes from one medium or substance to another. For example, let's say our two mediums are air and glass. As light travels in the air, it's traveling in a straight line, but when it travels from air into glass, it bends. Then the light travels through the glass and exits the other side, changing mediums once again, now from glass to air, where it bends a second time. Now, if we curve the surface of that medium, we can actually bend the direction of our light rays even more. This is how a lens works. There are two distinct shapes for lenses. One is called concave, the other one's convex. A concave lens is used to diverge light away, where the shape of a convex lens converges light to a point where the rays will actually cross. In both cases, these lenses are using refraction to purposely bend light. Check this out. We're gonna take a laser, I'm gonna put a convex lens in that path, and we can see how the light will bend, bend again, and move towards that focus point. All the light that's over here is passing through this lens and bending down to here. And because it's symmetrical, we can assume the same thing about this region, is all the light is being bent and bent up to here. That means this region right here, none of this light is exiting over here. Even if I move the laser around, you can see that the path always goes around that region. Why is that important? Because if none of this light reaches our eye over here, that means this region will be invisible. Now take a closer look at this shape. Does that look familiar to you? If I pass the laser around the side of the bottle, all the light that's coming through here is exiting up here. So this region is invisible. So that means anybody over here is actually seeing up here and anything that's down here, all the light that's going through is being bent up here. Right. This region that I was talking about earlier is invisible in this bottle. And that pen is in that region right now. And so if I turn the bottle sideways, wow. The trick to this is there's two pens. All right. The first one is the one you grab. I also mailed you another pen that I've weighted, put paper clips in it. So it actually will just sink. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. So just open up your bottle and drop the weighted one in. Okay, open up the bottle. Oh. No, no, that would be the... <laughs> That's it. Open up the bottle, in it goes, down it goes. Ta-da! Ta-da, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See? Not as, maybe not as slick as your trick, but it's in there. So now, when that pen is like this, you're actually looking at the lens curve this way and this way. But when you turn it sideways, that lens yeah. is now looking like yeah. the convex lens. It's gone. And to make it appear in there, all you have to do is tilt it up like this. Now you can actually see that the light is bending. If you actually look through it, you'll notice that everything on the other side of the bottle is upside down. Yeah. That's the light, that's the top becoming the bottom and the bottom becoming the top as it goes through it. That's pretty cool. So I can only see the pen if I put it down here because I see looking through it and straight. Right, because now the, light, the, the light's coming through and bending up to your face. Right, can they see that? It looks completely disappeared. Wow, that's very cool. Now, the only thing you need to do for people online to have fun with this one is to use a second pen. Right. So if you take the pen like this, yeah. you just swat it like this, Yeah. you can bring your hand down. Now this, very few people will look at this. If you want to practice at home, you end up just putting tape on it and you don't have to worry about it at all. You just slap right. and bring your hand down and present this. So here's, yeah, here's your pen, right? And Nailed it. <laughs> as long as you didn't listen to, to it rolling on the floor behind me. Perfect. Yeah, and then, yeah. <laughs> oh, I saw, the, I saw the little lap action going on there, pulling it off the back of the table. That's... I saw that. <laughs> Maybe you saw that. I don't think other people would see that. Okay, I won't, I won't call attention oh, to it. Call attention you're supposed to be looking at this. But this is now your optics of invisibility. That's cool. That's fun. Thank you. Watch. Did you see that? I have several pens I planted up my na nasal cavity. You, you can keep those pens now, by the way. By yeah, you don't want them back. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good trick, Jake. <laughs> thank you. Brian, thank you so much for joining us on Impossible Science. I appreciate it. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Well, that's it for today. I hope you had fun turning things invisible by bending light through science. And if you did, let me know by clicking the like button and subscribing to the channel. And until next time, stay curious, because the right question changes everything. Oh, I hate, I hate this part.